This lesson is about sixths. Not the easiest word to say, sixths. This, uh, the sound of sixths is, is much different than Scruggs style. It's a very pretty sound. You've undoubtedly heard it for a million years just listening to music in general, classical music, or almost any music uses sixths. You hear this kind of a sound. What a sixth is, is an interval of two notes that are six notes apart from each other. Let's say you're starting on G. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those two notes, the open third string and the second fret of the first string, are a sixth apart from each other. Now, if you go to the next note of the G scale on each string, let's say you're going up the G scale on the first string. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Zero, two, four, five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve on the third string. And you do the same on the first string. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, fa, so. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five. What you're kind of doing is leapfrogging between the two strings. So you'll have zero on the third string open, two on the first string, and then the next sixth, using the notes of the G scale, will be the second fret of the third string, the fourth fret of the first string, and then jump to the fourth fret of the third, fifth fret of the first, five and seven, seven and nine, nine and ten, eleven and twelve, twelve and fourteen. Now, for the, you can do what you'd like, but I use the index and pinky for all of these. So here it's comfortable when there's a two fret spread. When there's a one fret spread, it's a little tight, but not too bad. And that way you're not having to switch out fingers like you would not, otherwise you might want to go, you might want to go index and pinky, then index and ring, index, pinky, index, pinky, index, ring. I think for me anyway, it's easier just to use the same two fingers throughout. That's going up an octave from there to there. You can also continue on 14 and 16, 16 and 17, 17 and 19, 19 and 21. You can also go up on that interval, down on that interval. Some really pretty sounds just by manipulating the music. And we could do a little bit of an Osborne roll to in integrate these sixths into a roll. play a little bit of Good Night Ladies <clears throat> just to uh, integrate the sixth into a tune. So what I'm doing is just extracting certain sixths right there because the melody note is on the first string. Good night, ladies. Good, good. So I take the take the um, 
the interval that has that melody note on top. Good night, ladies. 9505. And here's the sixth position for that melody note, which is the third one that we've played so far. And then just go open on the first and third strings. There's a melody note there. 